Hello, beautiful Geminis. How are you? Welcome to 2021. I want to give a special shout out to all new visitors, cross watchers, and my subscribers. To all of those who've been so supportive to me while I've done a little 10 day, 15 day, no 10 day recovery period. Thank you so much. I appreciate your, your thoughtfulness and your beautiful comments and kind wishes. So thank you for that. For those of you who are new to tarot, this is a general reading. It can be vice versa energies. What I say is you may be your partner instead of you. The other thing that is very important to know is that in a general reading, not in every energy mentioned in the reading will apply to everyone. This is like a buffet table. Take what is yours, leave the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading, I am a full-time psychic and the links are all in the description box below, how to get a reading and all my offerings. Thank you so much for listening and let's get started with a dynamic new year for Gemini. Let's see what we have here for the overall energy coming into this reading. What is your love energy? A woman holding a heart, ooh. You are holding the keys for success in love, Gemini. You are manifesting love. Four, four is a number eight. Eight is stability, growth, success, and the magician in the mirror. You have looked at yourself. You've done a lot of growing. You've really thought a lot about what you want and you are manifesting your dreams. So I love that energy for you, Gemini. Let's get a really, we're going to do a very in-depth reading for this week. Let's see what we have here. What are the energies? What are the messages for our beautiful Gemini friends about love? What is? What are the things that they need to know? What are the things in which they can be empowered to improve love? What's the information they need to know? Let's look at what spirit has for messages, Gemini. Let's see what the energy is for our Gemini friends. Beautiful, it clicked over on its own. Three of Pentacles, you have someone in a relationship with you that seems to be ignoring the fact that you could be a power couple. We get the Three of Coins, they're dropping off of a bag in her head. She's very dissatisfied in the picture. So it really tells me the story of where you've been in the recent, past energy is a feeling that you're, although you have everything with your person of interest that it takes to have a successful relationship, they have not been doing their part. They have not been contributing. Okay, so let's see. So there's a feeling of dissatisfaction, you know, a feeling of, you know, what next, waiting, sort of toe tapping, what's going on, I'm kind of bored here. You know, if I'm going to leave this relationship, if it doesn't really provide something substantial, understandable. Oh, the King of Cups energy. I like this energy. This is Scorpio King. This is a person who's very calm, cool, collected on the surface. It's a favorite uncle. It's a beloved brother. It's the person that everybody goes to for sincere, heartfelt advice, for support. The catch is, is that this King has his emotions under control. He's always that person everyone can reach out to because he understands completely. This is a an energy of masculine love that says, you know, I'm very much, I love for forever, I love unconditionally, but I really don't, I'm not effusive. I don't run around like, you know, a romantic young person espousing my love and how much I adore you. That's just not who this king is. He's quietly there, he's a pillar of strength, he doesn't really talk. Usually people approach him to talk to him. So in love, he has a tendency to show his affection, but not to talk about it, which can be very frustrating to a feminine energy. The Hermit card. You feel alone. You're searching for answers right now, Gemini. You're taking that that trip inside yourself. That is your fellow energy ruled by Mercury, Virgo energy, but that search for answers is very honest and very down to earth. The search for answers that you want are how do I manifest? How do I have the love I want? The Capricorn Queen says that you're more than willing to look at what it takes. What are the practical things you need to do 
to have the love you want. Many of you are very, very confused right now. There is a feeling that you don't know what direction to go in. Some of you are feeling, and I feel many of you are feeling left in the cold based on this energy. Um, you feel as though your person really isn't talking to you. They're not telling you anything. And it does feel as though there is a very ego-driven energy here. It feels as though there is a beneath the surface argument that constantly and chronically goes unstated in this relationship and yet it's ever present. You are looking good, you feel good, you smell good, you have great cologne, your house is beautiful, you are on a great trajectory for the year. Many of you, and this is so true of Gemini, many of you are always, you're perennial students, you're always reading about something, you're always learning about something. So what I'm seeing is that you are studying your economic circumstances, you are very determined to build even more wealth, more abundance, and whatever it is that you're studying right now is going to bring you probably another income stream, quite literally. So we have this beautiful star energy. You could become quite popular, quite successful, and have another stream of energy come in. This is Aquarius energy. It's about enlightenment. Many of you are very good at helping people heal. You have a very soothing way about you. You help people, people including yourself, heal your heart. You have this heart this Four of Swords energy, many of you have had a big disappointment in love with someone who is too immature, too, they were just incapable of getting what you wanted. They were awkward, you know, and it, it, I feel very much it probably was someone who on the outside has everything to offer and yet, excuse me, on the inside, they have everything that you need and yet on the outside, the manifestation of their love really feels awkward. It feels, you feel lonely. You feel as though you're not in it to win it with a partner. You feel as though they're wasting an opportunity with you. So let's see what we have. Two of Swords says that right now you are going to focus on your money. You're going to focus on skill sets. You're going to focus on other income. This is a very positive way for you to heal, Gemini. You're very intellectual about this. Four of Swords energy is Libra energy. So you are finding your balance. You're trying to find your way. It's You're really wanting mature love versus this sort of flakiness that's gone on. So part of what you're looking at is you know, you're taking a break. You're taking a period of time for yourself. Look at what happens when you do that. This is a Two of Cups energy. We're going to clarify all the cards, of course, because I always do. But look at this. This really comes, harkens back to woman holding a heart that for whatever reason, you know, by taking good care of yourself, by being introspective, by trying to figure out what part you have in the equation, of unhappiness that you've had in relationships. You know, you're you're on this sort of inner journey, inner struggle, you're healing, but look at this. You are at the same time the magician in the mirror. And the mirror is all about amplifying your ability to manifest, the alchemist. So you are searching for answers. Even when you're not actively searching for answers, you're drawing in this beautiful energy the Two of Cups, you know, it's like, I want to marry my best friend. I want to be with my best friend and lover. The Two of Cups is energy of young love, and here we have the Ace of Cups. Many of you are going to meet someone with whom you're going to develop a relationship very quickly. I believe that many of you already know who this person is, but right now you're not really acting on it. You're still healing. But the Ace of Cups is new love. The Two of Cups is the next step. So it does look as though this new love relationship will be off to a quick new start. It's very sweet. It's Cancerian energy. There's something very nurturing about this relationship. The Nine of Cups is your wish fulfillment. That is typically a very good card, but in this particular deck, it's a little bit different. The Nine of Cups, we see that she's surrounded by cups lots of friends, but she's very lonely. The cups represent a lot of love. So Gemini, many of you are very popular. And again, we see this person who's absolutely exquisitely dressed, looking and feeling very sad because she doesn't have the love 
that quote unquote she thought she would have. Uh, this is, however, the manifestation. Although she doesn't see it, she's looking down in this direction. She's not looking at the cups of love all around her. So you have many opportunities. You are the manifester. You are the magician. You are the lady holding your heart. You are highly valuable in the dating world. People see your value right away. Sometimes I feel like Gemini, it's very hard for you because being popular comes to you very naturally. The hanged man, you're not really taking any action right now. And you, this is what popped up out, literally out of the deck, the eight of cups. Okay. So I'm seeing that many of you are leaving a relationship that has been unfulfilling. You are working on your money and you are going to have new love also, there is a possibility that by leaving this relationship behind, exit stage right, you are this person will come back around. I'm not positive of that, so it's going to take the clarifiers to tell us if this person is going to reappear. They seem to have all the tools, they just haven't expressed love. So we're going to look and see if the two of you can come back together or what this really means for the future and love for this period of time. So let's look and see what the journey, the, um, the destiny cards, the journey cards have for you, sacred journey. Let's see what spirit wants you to learn as we get ready to clarify this reading. What is the message from spirit for Gemini and their journey at this time? Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Choosing your path, all is possible. Oh, beautiful. All right, so it really shows that you are manifesting. All you have to do is make good choices and you do have to make choices. You can't hang on to something that isn't working if you want to have this love, whether hanging on to an attitude, whether it's a thought process or whatever, something has to be released for you to have the love. Your love is here. It's like, it just, it's like an Amazon package. It's already ordered. The universe has it. It just has to be delivered. And so you have to get out of your own way a little bit here to have it delivered. Look at distant thunder. Okay, clear the air. Spirit is telling you that you need to really actually clear the air with this person. You need to have a conversation. You're not very optimistic about it. You've been holding back. You've walked away from this person, but the reality is, is that you need to clear the air traveling lightly okay when you clear the air it's going to be very important <clears throat> that you only discuss what is actually bothering you if you take the approach that this the person not sharing their their feelings with you if you take the approach and you just dump everything that you don't like about your entire life on this person you will be forced to again walk away, that the relationship will not go anywhere. But what we see in this energy from the Oracle cards that this person really does love you, they want the relationship, they are here, and that some of this will be about accepting who they are, but you need clarity. Both of you are very confused about what's going on. Both of you are hurting. Both of you are suffering from this feeling of having not been in contact. So let's see. Both of you are really good workers, quote unquote. Both of you are very geared to being successful. I see you as the potential of a power couple is here. Both of you would like that. But let's see here. We don't have any queens, which is interesting. Oh, yes, we do. I'm sorry. We have the queen and a king. So that's always a good sign in a reading. We have the energies of connecting the maturity and the power and the action behind it to bring it together. Okay, so what we have is releasing. Releasing a bad attitude, what did I say? <laughs> Don't, it's really important that you understand that this feeling of, you know what, I'm just gonna let the coins fall apart. I don't care, I don't want this, I'm gonna walk away. Release that attitude. Don't hold on to that. That is very detrimental to you right now. Judgment card is Scorpio energy. If you let your Scorpio king go, he's not coming back. He is not coming back. So it's very important that you choose your words carefully and lovingly 
and giving this person the benefit of the doubt. Travel lightly, leave your baggage behind. Don't let all the hurts of the past be brought into a new conversation. You know, the, and you need to clear the air. You know, Gemini, you talk a lot, but you have a tendency, uh, especially Geminis who are born uh, in the second section, you know, from the 31st of May to the 9th and 10th of June, you have a tendency to never really want to speak harshly. Uh, you, you're ruled by Venus, secondary ruler, and you don't really like to be too blunt. Okay, your person is feeling very defensive. That is the energy of Sagittarius. They feel as though they've tried to be really good to you, and they feel as though maybe you aren't appreciating it. The World card says that you want to bring this period of, of answers. You want answers. You are finding answers. The answers that you are finding, beautiful, oh my gosh. The King and the Qu Queen of Pentacles tells me that this relationship is already manifested. So whether it has actually come to your awareness or not, but what I'm seeing here is that you are closing out a cycle of being defensive. You're closing out a cycle of choosing You know your, your emotions. We have the choice to feel a certain way. What we tell ourselves in our mind will determine how we feel. So giving yourself the right message, being hopeful, don't have a bad attitude. This person has a bad attitude. You know, I want it my way or the highway. If they aren't winning it the way I want to be in it, you know, I'm just going to check them out. This energy can be vice versa. You could be the recipient of this energy. But what it shows me, what I'm seeing here, is that you gain clarity by talking about, this is where you get your clarity. You have success. You've manifested this. The way, what you need to clean up, clear the air, is how you give to each other and how each of you value that. One or both of you do not feel recognized in terms of what you give. And yet, both of you legitimately give to the relationship. Both of you legitimately have not really understood the other enough to have what you want yet. We get the five of coins. Both of you, you are feeling especially left out in the cold. The ten of coins. Okay. So it looks as though your person, you know, you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, they're, they give everybody else everything they want. You know, this King of Cups is over here giving to their family, giving to their friends, giving a lot of attention to everybody. They seem to have a good life. Everybody loves them. They're popular. Why do I feel left in the cold? And let's look and see why you feel left in the cold. The Tower card. Some sort of event happened that made you feel that there was no stability in your relationship. Let's look and see what that activity or that event could have been for Gemini. What was that event that brought the tower down that made you feel like you didn't have value to this person? What did they do? What did they say? What was going on here? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. <sighs> nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. We have the fact that the next card up is ego-driven energy, okay? This person is very popular. People chase around after this person to get their attention. Here's the issue that you're having. <laughs> it's actually a compliment. There's a really beautiful compliment here, but it's not. it doesn't feel good to you. What we're seeing here is that your King of Cups is accustomed to being in demand. Your King of Cups, because they are this nurturing person, is very popular. This person's very successful. They help people a lot in their job. They're like the number one employee. They're the number one family member. If there's, if all hell breaks loose, call the King of Cups, okay? And what we see is that you have come to the stark realization that because you are so successful, you don't need them. And that because you don't need them, unfortunately for you, you're not at the top of the list of who to help. So you feel as though you're the one who's bringing the most to the table, and you are, and yet you're getting half of the attention everybody else is getting. So <laughs> please leave comments about this in the, in, the, you know, in the comment section. Please let me know where you're standing on this. This is your person has told you you're really strong. 
that they, you know, and that's come as a shock. Like, well, you know you're strong. That's not the shock. The shock is, is that you would actually get less from this person. You would be treated with less attention and what feels like less affection because you're strong. Well, I don't have to manage you. You can manage yourself. And your person's very appreciative of you. Look at this king. He's like, this is really great. Somebody who can take care of everything they need to take care of. You know, somebody like myself. So you have an energy around you, Gemini, that's very much like you. And both of you are very loving, very giving. And yet your person is like, yeah, okay, good. Check mark. I don't need to take care of Gemini. That's why I love Gemini so much. I don't need to take care of Gemini. And Gemini's over here going, what? What? What are you talking about? So you're, you know, you're feeling very much like, I give more so I get less. Where's that equation? How does that work? And that is the question that you're asking uh, for those for whom this reading will apply. If it doesn't apply to you, look at your moon rising in Venus. Yeah, you're feeling really angry over this. You feel as though this person has been almost like unkind, you know? they. It's almost like you feel as though there's sort of this ruthless energy. And again, feeling left out in the cold. Oof. That is energy that's hard to, that's hard to deal with. Gemini, Gemini. Okay. So here you are, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. You've got it all together. You're feeling like you'll never find partnership. You are holding back. You're working on yourself. What do we know about this work that you're doing on yourself and for yourself? What are you manifesting here? Yep, here you go. For many of you, you are honing your belief system, but you're also developing emotional, spiritual practices that help you heal, that help you calm down. Beautiful, okay. So you're like, you're being very self-sufficient. Your person is not giving you nurturing. So you are your own best friend, which is good. Look at this, it attracts your person back into your life. Here's your soulmate energy. The soulmate is here to help you learn that attention is not affection, that there is a difference, that they love you very deeply, the soulmate card is here, and that you're healing from an earlier time in your life with people who were less mature possibly, that you know, you're very self-sufficient, that you are your own happiness, and you are able to walk away from this energy you're going to finish healing. That's what I'm seeing. Any old wounds from old lovers are going to fall by the wayside. You're coming into this beautiful, beautiful healing energy. You're going to, you know, and I think a lot of you had childhoods that were pretty demanding, you know, where you, you might have been the oldest child. You might have been the child that solved everybody else's problems. At work, you're the most competent person in the room. So it's interesting energy because that's what your person loves about you. That's what manifested you in their lives. So now you have to make the decision of how you are going to rate this relationship. Some of you will walk away from it because you feel as though this person may not give you what you want. But I would say, for most of you, they will. It's going to take clearing the air and not making this into a bigger problem than it, than it has to be. Being very simple and straightforward about one behavior, one event, don't load up the grocery cart with everything this person has ever annoyed you with. It would be too much. The Five of Cups reversed means that you will come into a beautiful conversation. You need to really bring love to the table. You really need to, to remember that all is possible here. You know, that if you keep it very simple and you state your feelings, what do we have as the outcome for that? Six of Cups, a reunion of souls and spirits. This person is very loyal to you. They're going to reassure you that they're very loyal to you. For those of you who are um, leaving a relationship behind or you've left something behind, you are meeting somebody of this stature, of this sort of energy. Even if you haven't had this yet, it looks as though it's going to be forthcoming for you. So the three of, oh my gosh, the three of cups. 
being in love with your best friend, the ace to the two to the three. That is incredible, very fast energy of manifestation. Why is the nine of cups here? The three of coins, the three of coins. So you go from this energy as you end this period of time, you go from feeling very discontent to saying, you know what? I know everybody has other people in their lives. People might, you might be, you might be dating somebody who has grown children. Uh, they might, if the, you're younger and you're dating this person, you begin to accept the fact that both of you tend to be very popular. So there's always going to be other people around. So you're, you're, you're not quite feeling so, you don't feel left in the cold. That's what the beautiful energy coming forward is, you know. So it shows us that you have the Nine of Cups energy. The Ace of Cups, again, you start to really feel that you can really embrace this person. The Eight of Cups, what again, you are leaving something behind here and here, bookending the relationship. What is this sort of, this looks like somebody who's mad. Oh, look at, <laughs> I love this card. Okay, but the Eight of Cups says, I want more fulfillment. So what is that clarified in this energy? The Seven of Swords, okay. You're not gonna allow anybody to lie to you, but you have to be careful about lying to yourself, okay? So what is the outcome of this reading in a clarification way? There we go, the Queen of Pentacles. So you're really, you're able to, to really rework the story you tell yourself that even though you feel as though, well, I'm gonna walk away, it's kind of a lie you're telling yourself, you know, that you can't, people are not absolutes. They're not all good, they're not all bad. You know, people disappoint us, but what I'm seeing here is be careful about the story you tell yourself. You're actually this Queen of Pentacles energy that is your outcome. It is a card of a nurturing relationship. There's deep love here. There is a reunion of soulmates. You know, it's a very important, we have the lover's card here. Soulmates are here to teach us the lesson. So the lesson that you're learning is to do what spirit tells you, to take the advice of spirit in this. And by doing so, you are able to go from this energy of feeling like, that's it, I'm out of here. And you know, I'm not having it and watching with jealousy this feeling that this person is giving to everybody but you. So we, you know, we have this tower energy was invoked by this. And so now we see you coming into alignment with your higher self with a distant thunder. This is a distant thunder, quite literally. This was a distant thunder in the past that put you in this energy. And now you are simplifying your life Let's see what else we have for the outcome clarifiers here. Yep, there we go. Manifesting happiness, joy, knowing that it's all about what's right, not who's right, giving up your ego to solve problems, being the enthusiastic queen. So we have two queens here with this energy of solutions. It's really gorgeous. Gemini, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And if you do like the video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you so much.